Hello and welcome one more time to Rax Transformers Collections. Today we have Power of the Prime Center Twin, member of Abominus. As you can see, just jumping straight off, we've got a fairly good deco here. Again, I'd like to point out that I have the Japanese release. I accidentally ordered that one instead of ours. So, any minor deco changes you may notice results from that. And look at that head. It's a nice head sculpt. I like it. You'll notice that unlike the other Terracons in the Power of the Primes line, he doesn't have the flip tab for the Prime Armor slot. And I guess that extra piece of plastic was just too much. Now, without too much further ado, let's pull our zoom back and get to work. I think I remember reading somewhere that the Terracon weapons, at least two of them, are supposed to peg together, but I cannot figure out which ones do it for the life of me. They don't seem like they go. Now, first things first, we're going to fold the fist in. And then we flip this part up top. Now we pull the back up and that means we can flip the head back inside. And cover that up and take these two guys down. Oh, we have to fix their heads. We got tabs on the neck that peg into the shoulder. If it would go for me, get one side that likes it, but the other side doesn't. There we go. Good enough for gummit work. There we go. Now these legs, you want to fold, pull them out and fold the shoulder up all the way onto this tab. Up and over. We've got the feet in position here. This back side. Now this is a little bit more conventional compared to the, compared to cutthroat. We have these two panels in the back that open up and we just fold it inside. Now do we want to rotate the hips? I don't believe we do. Oh wait, one moment. Yeah, silly me. Yeah, these operate a little bit differently than the others. I'm silly. First, we want to get these tabs pegged together. And then we just rotate it over. Yeah, wait. I forgot. We do want to rotate the hips. You know, okay, first of all, let's move these legs out of the way. I was wrong about rotating the hips, it looks like. Now, let's peg the two together. Nice. Now, Rotate up and get caught on the stinking body. Let's try 
try the other way. Don't look like we get caught on the stinking buddy. Something is not right. These tabs on the body want to Goodness. Why is that in the way? I can't open that, can I? Don't believe so. Any way to get any extensions? There we go. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but we managed it. Then we can just fold these panels down here. Oh, that's one of the combiner pegs. Yeah, it'd be easier like this. There we go. Got it snapped together, nice and snug. But seemingly backwards. Oh, that's why. We'll flip this tail down, flip these legs around, and reset the head. And there we have it. Then for a stowage, we plug the gun into the top socket. Take the prime armor and we plug it into the side of the leg, just like so. And there you have it, a nice and completed center twin. Uh, the only criticisms I really have with this one are not, the joints are kind of inconsistent. Some are really tight and some are a little bit loose. And in addition to that, there's those clearance issues that we we're experiencing back here. I'm not quite certain about why that is, but other than that, there's a lot of articulation possible with the joints that they gave us. It's a really nice figure. Really good detail sculpted onto them. Good deco. Yeah, nice figure. Makes a good leg. Anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration and didn't get frustrated with me as I kind of got stuck for a minute. But maybe you'll find it in your heart to join me next time. And until such a time, have a good day.